All righty. Here we go, everybody. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. If you're watching live on Twitch, make sure to follow. We stream live each and every single Friday. Looks like Hector's going to take a mulligan. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube after the fact, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, set it to all. Otherwise, YouTube will literally never show you when we post videos. And we post videos almost every single day of the week here on YouTube. So do that. Nick is trying to be a bit of, of a party crasher, of a dream crusher. Uh, he's 101. 101, the, the classic. Hector is the good old 2-0. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes here. Can Nick spoil Hector's night? Or uh, will Hector be able to you know, advance to 3-0 and and play in uh, the final round undefeated? I'm going to try and scooch this over so it is more centered. Hector taking Mulligan. He's got one ring in hand. Looks like some maps, a talisman. I don't see anything too crazy going on right now. Anything out of the ordinary. What normal Drowsy Tron plays. So you know Nick, right? Yeah, I've, I've known Nick for quite a while. He's one of the uh, collector store players. I see that via the sleeves. Um, and Hector, uh, a little bit newer to Magic the Gathering. Uh, play CEDH a ton, basically up here every single Thursday. By the way, we have Thursday night CEDH here at the shop, 49 Ludwig Drive in the fabulous Fairview Heights. But Hector's in the tank here, trying to decide whether he wants to keep this hand or not. I do not know what Green Black Food is doing right now. Like, I feel like food as an entire archetype has struggled to adapt to the new to MH three. Yeah. Like the cards are still powerful, but I don't know what he's doing now. I think he's on blue. Actually, he might be on blue black food because he's got. He might be on Soulty or something. Oh, he might be. Yeah, uh... I don't remember. He's he's changed lists a bunch, and I don't remember what specifically he's on. So for now, but let's just... he starts off here with the surveil land, keeps it to the top. So definitely blue, blue black. We'll just call it food for now. It's food. It plays the um, Time Seed card. Oh, yeah. So he's going to try to be taking some infinite turns here. He's got a frog in his hand. That's pretty sick. This is so funny. Me and... Uh, it's Whatever. Um, okay, so... Map for Hector off of... Ooh, yeah, Besaju. Probably not the first land you want to be playing if you're Eldrazi Tron. Play the bobble, bobble myself. Keeps it on, well, can't not keep it on top, but not gonna, we don't know what he's gonna do about it yet. Yeah, could fetch it away potentially. Burn catacombs. Cracks it. We go, they, I'm gonna yeah, tell go. them to go for this thing. They, they could have like 400 life by now. We don't know. I mean, it's food. That's true. So, Jake's gonna go let them know to put the, phone where we can see it yeah there we go sweet so down to 19 goes nick and here is a frog we got frog food i'm just gonna I call mean, it frog food frog is like nuts that card and Legacy is a house. It's kind of struggled to find its yeah. placing in Modern just because Modern is a totally different format. And creatures in Legacy have a higher chance of living because you don't play as much creature permanent base removal. Nick drew an Emery, uh, Lurker of the Lock, for turn. I do like a good Emery. I actually really like that card. That card is sweet. That card had, when that card came out, it was the most busted thing. It was ever. so good. Well, because Urza decks were running, running wild, brother. Urza was the was the menace of every format. I felt like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know the last time I saw an Urza though. All righty, Hector playing an Eldrazi Temple. Not, not the big land, the new Ugin's Lambeth, but you know, it basically does what you need to for Eldrazi already. Uh, yeah, definitely. The map. What's he gonna find here? You'd imagine Probably. some piece of Tron, but it maybe not, though. Be, so a he, lot of these Eldrazi Tron lists are more focused on the soul lands than yeah. they are the actual Tron lands. So 
you're not searching up the actual Tron lands as much as you much as you want soul lands. Yeah, so, just but I mean he's been going to turn three here with five five mana. potential mana, yeah. But uh I think he's gotta get something on the board here soon. That's my one concern is that food will explode out of the gate. And yeah. if he does, if Hector doesn't get a like something going, he could nick a take over the game. Yeah, I mean he, he's yeah, kind of on the back foot already, but still time to to come back to it. All discard, right. Discard discard a card going to be probably old. no dragster or daredevil. Oh, we'll chase the daredevil with that card's called who's this matchup favor i don't know um if i was to make a estimated guess i think it depends i think game one the food deck is pretty favored but games two and three well drazi tron gets to really bring in like the hardcore hate pieces i think that uh eldrazi kind of gets it there emory's gonna mill some cards nick has a soren in the deck so I'm going to put up a poll if you're watching live on Twitch. Who's going to win this match, Nick or Hector? You let us know. You let us know. Nick and uh, get in with the frog here. We can discard a card to it at all. Discards a fan academy manufacturer. In hand, he had a uh, unearth. So that unearth could be getting back. Who knows what? And Nick hasn't played his land for turn, and he has a fetch land in his hand. I love that retro bordered Emery too. I love it; just looks so good. Some a lot of the some cards do not that's look good so, in retro. That's very true. And but some cards just fit into that frame very well. I feel like darker art cards fit better in that frame in comparison. So to here's them. my take on them: they're great if the if it's like a painting or it, yes. it is a digital piece of art that is made to look like a painting, but some of them are just so you can tell that was done by digitally. Yes. As opposed to traditional means. And those are the ones that I'm like, yo, that don't look right. <laughs> so, but yeah, I love retro border. It was it's B definitely, big nostalgia vibes for me. It's Ooh. definitely one of the uh, treatments that like, I'm nice glad he's come back, but TKS hits the field, looks at Nick's hand. I'm surprised Nick didn't bring back the Academy manufacturer last turn. Maybe he was waiting for like an all's dust or a wrath or something, but yeah, I think we're going with unearth here. That's a, one of the yeah. struggles of these food decks is if they don't get going, they kind of stall out and yeah. stop doing like what they need to do. It exiles. Yeah. So. You want me to go judge them on that? Yeah, just, just say. It, it, it could matter. It could me. matter, yeah. But uh, Jake going to go let him know that that unearth is supposed to have been exiled off of Thought Not Seer. Um, meanwhile, Nick going to take a draw here. He's already got a pretty menacing board. And there's good old Jake. And there we go. Yeah. All's right. Certainly just a, uh, you know, thought sees effect happens. Put him in the bin. No harm, no foul. Yeah, Nick agreed with me. It is relevant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I see him. Doing Emery stuff. Doing Emery stuff, yeah. And you can uh, exile cards in the graveyard to the frog to give it flying for a turn. Yeah, so it super duper matters. Um, so before we Emery, though, we're going to just unearth. Here comes back the manufacturer that we knew was probably going to come back. Uh Different on Earth. Same effect, though. <laughs> and this Academy Manufacturer you're going to run wild here. Going to discard the cookbook to the cookbook. Going to make all the tokens. All the things. <laughs> Wasn't there a uh, newer card that makes... 
I don't know what what set it came out. It makes like blood. It makes. I think it was in Bloomboro. Was it? I think not Bloomboro. I think it. Oh, was it not? I don't remember which uh, set it comes or that that card came out in. Maybe it was like one of the Dominaria sets, the March of the Machine things that would just happened. Hmm. I don't know. So, double cookbook. Back to Hector. Looking uh, kind of puny in the face of all the stuff that's happening on Nick's side of the board. Just has a thought, not see her. All's Dust does not uh, do very much in this matchup. I mean, it'll take care of the Frog and it'll take care of the Emery, but everything else is... Yeah. It Here. does not care about that board wipe like most decks would. Definitely not, but a uh, one ring here would be like something for sure. Can't quite yeah, tell can't what Hector. He has a um, reality smasher. I saw that when you went over there. Oh, uh, there's Ugin's Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth discarding a world breaker. World breaker. That's a different art. Yep, that is the Jumpstart 2022 art. I need uh, one more of those Ugin's Labyrinth foils, and then I can have this deck too. <laughs> Hector in the tank here a little bit. Gonna two, four, six, seven. The one, one ring. ring. Yep. So, so he just will have. Or, he didn't need to tap off all, all of his lands, but he. He could leave one of them up. Sometimes you just got to flex on your opponent. Yeah. The one ring, I mean, it's going to buy him a turn here, but I don't it, I don't know what gets him out of this, though. You know? like yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. Uh, obviously, yeah. I mean, the Eldrazi do get in beats. Like, if he can start playing two Reality Smashers in a turn... Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Nick's at 18... Now goes to 14. Just took the Thought Not Sphere. Hit to the face. Another Academy Manufacturer. Sheesh. So go. Does that double produce? Or is a Saga as well? Yeah. All right. We're going to get uh, a little swifty with this, Emery. Discard the Urza Saga. Make, yeah, it because it, it copies it for each. It sees each other one being made. So it's gonna make. Th does it make three or does it just make two of each? I think it makes three. There's the oval chase. Ooh. So now we're getting uh, real dirty here. Yeah, it's it's gonna. This is gonna be a problem. Man. I wonder what's making the camera shake so much. So uh, probably Nick moving all the stuff around because he's making so much. Plays the Asmo. Find another cookbook. Sacrifice a treasure. Play the cookbook. Oval chase again. Nuts. These food decks go ham. When they go, like, when they oh, go yeah. off, they go off. Played against Heron like months and months and months ago. He learned me. <laughs> And these food decks can start from nothing. Like, they just, they can explode out of the gate. Yeah, Asmo going to shoot the uh, Thought Not Seer. Draw a card off that yep. Thought Not Seer dying. <laughs> the third cookbook. One from the Asmo. Sacrifice the last treasure. Play another Emery. Just going to uh. keep the old one. We got a reader. The card deals, the reader deals damage to himself. There's, a, there's the time sieve. So, I oh, believe... Man, this deck is so sick, dude. Yeah, I believe oh Nick... Oh, my God, this deck is sick. I believe Nick has infinite turns here. Because he gets back the other Oval Chase. Um, he can play the Time Sea from his graveyard. And he makes more than enough artifacts every turn. Yeah, where he can just... just... Yeah, see, now, now he just has infinite turns. And I don't know if Hector realizes it right now. 
and I don't I don't believe this can fizzle. And I, he's just dead to the frog anyways, I think. This deck is sick. All right. Yeah, we're making so much. Oh, but I don't know if Nick can attack because of the one ring. He's got to wait a turn because that one ring trigger hasn't gone away yet. Does sword make you lose life? Is if it's not, and it does it target? He's he's telling him I can take the rest of the turns in the game. Yeah. And so that's gonna be it. Nick's gonna. So what's happening here is Nick's taking all the turns. Uh, which is long and convoluted, but he's gonna discard. He's gonna discard the oval chases to the cookbooks, which is gonna make an obscene amount of food treasures and clues and he sacks the clues to the time sieve to take act take as many turns as you want um i believe soren's ultimate is just each player loses life so it actually doesn't matter it's about not, the ring I, it's not even an ultimate i don't think it's is there's like or a is it two? i don't know let's look let's look yeah, i can I we have this technology we have this that card does Do that was sick though this deck that uh nick's playing is awesome it's a only food deck you'll ever hear me say about that. Yeah, Flippy Soren. Hold on, let's uh, get it on screen real quick. Uh, -da -boop. Boom. There it is. Deals damage equal to the amount of life you've gained this turn to any target. I mean, Gain. so yeah, I... I mean, he would have to pass the turn back to Hector. He's getting every turn, though, so he can sack the food and just, like... Dealing, f no, we well, can't target him. I, I, I don't think there's a way Hector is ever getting out of that. Um, he couldn't target him that turn, I don't think, but I, there's no, I don't think there's any getting out of that, no matter what you How do. How does the one ring read? Uh, you gain protection until when the start of your next turn. What if he never gets a turn? Does he just have protection forever? Yeah, what are we doing here, guys? I don't know. I, but I think the thing is, is like Nick could gain a theoretical, like, I, I don't, I don't He's know. He's going to gain infinite life, basically. Yeah. You want the arena one? No. Uh, here, the arena one's nerfed. Here is, uh, until your next turn. So, yeah, I mean, we'll have to ask Nick how that works with the one ring in play. So... I, I don't think Hector really had a way out of it, especially because all his dust doesn't really stop. Well, Nick would have been able to, like, gain essentially infinite life. Yeah. Or at least can, enough life to where it would gain infinite that. life, draw the rest of his deck out. Um, does he have an Oracle? I don't does, think so. Does his Oracle, maybe? Most of the food decks just went through combat damage. I feel like every combo deck that is blue nowadays, though, has to kind of play Oracle for one ring purposes. I don't know about every blue deck, but... Like, even like, Ruby Storm starting to yes. play where a clouded sideboard, which I is I mean, it's hilarious. debatably the best win condition for combo decks, and, like, specifically blue-based combo decks. Yeah. Um, not, like... I mean, Nadu doesn't play it, though. <laughs> they play the weird convoluted, I'll blow all your lands up, I'll yeah. kill all your things... I have but fifty-seven one ones, and I'm going to kill you on your next 57 turn. Fifty-seven one ones, and I really hoped you watch me playing the game. Yeah. If you didn't just concede by then, which you should have, one hundred percent. Hope that card gets banned. Yeah, I think that. So we were talking about it earlier. Ex uh, oh, he can extort with Soren because extort ah, yeah. doesn't target. Awesome, thank you, Grat. That's fair. So you just take every infinite. He takes infinite turns, cast a bunch of cards. Uh, but we're on to game number two. Hector out here with the best start of a Ugin land with an Ulamog underneath of it. Oh. How many Ulamogs do you think he plays? Usually most of them play about one, one, one or two. The Eldrazi lists play less of the big Eldrazi in comparison to the traditional Tron lists. Yeah. Which I, you know... All right, Nick. Two mana frog. Frog time. 
Dude, the art, the alternate art, borderless frog art is nuts. Dude, it's so good. I'd have four of those if they weren't thirty-five or forty dollars. Wow. Because that art is sick. It's so good. Well, he's got Tron happening now. Well, he needs one more, but a lot better of a start this turn than last. This game than last, rather. Where are we at? Is it? I assume it's Hector's turn here. I assume it's Hector's turn. Um, maybe we're seeing if Hector wants to try to resolve a spell. He's got four mana, so I mean, could ring. He could. He has a Karn in hand. I think he's got a Karn, yeah. So I think he's going to resolve this Karn. Yep. Yeah, slam the Karn down. Probably minus threes. Go find my sideboard ring. Seems decent. If it resolves. Days. The food deck doesn't usually play too many counter spells. Yeah, it doesn't look like Nick so, has any in his hand regardless. So. I think it's Nick just thinking about what am I going to do when you grab something, you know? Yep, so tick down. What do we It's find? not ring, because I don't think Nick would be reading a ring. Uh, a damping matrix? Yes, I think so. Yes. Yes. That card is activated abilities cost two more. Or I don't remember what that card is exactly. That's like the the one artifact hate piece that I never play. Oh, it's like a artifact stony silence. There it is for you folks. Activated abilities of artifacts and creatures can't be activated unless they are mana abilities. Nick discards a card, plays the Asmo, discarding the card from the frog. I mean, that's like that's so probably good. the best thing you can do oh, now. That's with this so card. good. I mean, the frog ka -ka -ka draws your cards, works with your Asmo, and yo, this deck is so sick. And it plays Emery. Like, and Nick is a long time. Oh, oh Winter Moon. Winter Moon. Oh Ooh. no. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> These Tron decks uh, do not like seeing this land hate. Yeah. Winter Moon could be very strong here. Nick has two basics, so what does he care? He gets to untap the one non-basic land he uh, only has. Hector on the tank here. At least the one land he's untapping does tap for two. Yeah. He's going to play another Tron land. Damping Matrix. Land that Dampening Matrix, but... Stony Silence doesn't do a whole lot when... Oh my gosh, he's just going to pitch his whole hand to the frog. In response, yeah. Wow. Okay, well, you got a beefcake of a frog right now. Dude, that frog's going to croak. <laughs> Jeez. Or make Hector croak. Hey. We're here all night, everybody. <laughs> All righty. Draw for turns. Give me a land. Cracks in Get for in there. about a million. Ten. It's like ten. Draws another card. And you got to hand. Two lands. Plays the Misty. Best Man, decision. I think that was my favorite play of the night. <laughs> Discard all these cards. In response. In response. <laughs> I don't need my hand anymore. Right. That was cool. Does Hector have Tron? I don't think so. And Hector going to extend. Wow. Playing Dream Crusher. Nick on Frog Food. Going to take it down here. Holy smokes. You know, that's like Crushing Hector's a, dream. That's a side of the frog that we don't normally get to see. That was awesome. Just discard my whole hand. Ten Smack you. you for 10. <laughs> that, uh, was, that was sick. Scoop him up, buddy. Yeah, oh. that was awesome. Uh, sorry, Hector, but that was, that was a pretty cool one to watch.
Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang ar- hang around because we got more one more round. Uh, we won't be more. we won't be seeing either of these players though because Nick went and dream crush. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and of course, put it to all. Otherwise, YouTube will never show you us show you our content. But uh, that's Jake. I'm Alex. We will see you next time, and we'll catch you all on Flippy Flop. If you're watching live, though, stay around. Adios.